Hello, this is me again. Uh, today I'm going to explain a dynamic chart using a drop down list. So I will show you the example what's the result of this tutorial. So here we have a chart, it is a precipitation uh, chart uh, for this city. What we can change this chart based on uh, the city that we choose from this list. So you be chosen from this drop down. So every time we choose different city, the chart will change according to the city that we choose here. Okay, that will be the results from this tutorial. If you are interested, please continue watching this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. So we will uh, use this uh, Excel sheet. So it's Similar with this one, uh, without a drop down list and also with a chart. So we'll start from scratch. Okay, he, this is we have a city list here over here and also the precipitation data uh, for each city. And we can start by creating a drop down list first. So we need to select these cities. And then go to formulas and then name manager new and we need to specify the name uh, city list one and then this is also already here okay city list one then close and then we go for here and then we'll make a drop down list here so we go to data and then data validation uh, change to list and then the source is equal cd list one okay so it shows the arrow here which means we can click this and here you go we have a drop down list for all the cities listed here in this table so we have created the drop down list the next part is we need to create a chart so we will go to this insert menu and then go to line with markers uh, this is still blank and I will change the color Okay, this is blank chart. We need to specify the inputs here, but the input will be dynamic because if we change the cities, which is the input, the chart will change, which means the input range will change as well. So we need to create a reference range. How to do that? We will make equations in this cell. So we start with equal and then for range we will create a menu like this range start from this cell to this cell so we will use the index match formula to make a reference uh, of the data here linked to the city that we will choose over here so we will put index and then here B and then press Ctrl shift and then arrow down to select uh, the cells downwards and then don't forget to press F4 to lock the range and then what else just the array and then we put comma here and then for row number we will put match function match and then match uh, the first input is the lookup value which is the city over here don't forget to press f4 to lock the cell location and then comma the lookup array will be over here the city list that we defined before and then comma match type to be zero or exact match 
Okay. We go back to the formula. And then we go for the second index, which is the end of the range. So we start here and then the end will be here. So we do the same thing. The array will be here. Control shift out of down and then F4 to lock the range, comma, match, and then look out value is pretty. F4 to lock and then comma and then the CD list. Comma X F match. Okay, we finish the index match and index match so it will result in a range enter okay it looks like an error over here but let's take a look here show calculation steps so evaluate so this is the original formula that we have over here and then uh, let's evaluate Okay, this is the result. Actually, it's a range. The final result is a range. But if we put the range here, the result will be an error over here. So, it's good. Okay, what next? We click this, then copy. And then, we go on the formula, and then name manager, new, and then type formula 1 and then refers to paste the formula that we copied before okay formula 1 don't forget okay then we have here our blank chart uh, select data and then add the series name will be the city here and then the series value will be a uh, sheet name which is data2 then exclamation mark and then formula 1 okay, so we need to mention the the excel sheet name first and then followed by exclamation mark and then uh, the formula that we copied before okay so showing here uh, and we need to change the horizontal axis labels it has to be this one okay i'll do a bit formatting okay we have the chart we have the drop down list so let's try let's change into this one Okay, it's changing. Change it to this one. Changing again. Changing. Okay, we have a dynamic chart with drop down list. So it's very interesting if you have so many data here or to compare different data set and then put it in the same chart. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I hope you can apply it by yourself. Thank you.